Hello, I'm Officer David Causey, the University of North Texas Police Department, and I'm the Community Relations Officer. Today, I want to tell you a little bit about our department and staying safe on campus. The department is made up of 45 sworn officers, and we are commissioned under the Texas Education Code and meet all the requirements of the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement. Our jurisdiction includes all counties that the university owns or rents property, which is currently Denton, Dallas, Cook, Collin, and Tarrant counties. We are also dual accredited through CALEA and ICALEA. About half of our department are UNT alumni, and a lot of our officers have children that attend UNT as well. So we don't just come here and work and then go home. We are UNT. One of the biggest things that you can do to help keep yourself safe on campus is to trust your instincts. Make eye contact with anyone in close proximity. Be aware of your surroundings. Walk in groups if possible. Avoid secluded places and discuss safety plans before you go out. There are night rides that operate around campus that are by our transportation services. This is something that you want to look into early so whenever you need it, you're not trying to figure it out then. There are also emergency phones located all around campus. You simply push the red button and you'll be in a two-way call with our 911 operator. The blue light will start strobing and officers will be sent your way. For your phone, make sure that you always have it with you and make sure it's charged. Use that cell phone as a lifeline and not as a distraction. Make sure that you don't walk in text or drive in text and be careful what you share on social media. Also, in Denton County, you can text 911. In your residence, make sure that you keep your door and window secure. Make sure that you never prop open a door. Do not loan your room key to anyone and make sure you're using the peephole to identify visitors before allowing them in or opening your door. The Cleary Act was passed in 1990 and the basis behind it is to make sure that you know what's going on around campus and the community so you can stay safe. And in 2013, it was amended to include the Violence Against Women's Act. Timely warning notifications are about clear crimes that happen on campus so that you will know what's going on. Make sure that if you receive one of these, that you read it carefully and take proactive steps to keep yourself safe. About three in 10 women and one in 10 men have experienced rape, physical violence, and or stalking by a partner. About 80 to 90% of these instances go reported to unreported to the authorities. 90% of women survivors are assaulted by someone they know, whether it's a friend, date, acquaintance, significant other, or spouse. So one thing that we're saying here is to make sure that you're meeting people in public places. Even if it's someone that you know, don't allow them into your dorm or your residence. Make sure that you're meeting them in the lobby, in the union, um, just somewhere that's a public place. If you are a survivor of sexual assault, we do in, uh, encourage you to file a report or to, sell, to tell someone to get you the help that you need. Remember, you are not to blame. Trust your instincts. If something feels wrong, leave. If someone is pushing you into something, leave. If you are in danger, get out and call 911. Drugs and alcohol can compromise the ability to make good decisions. Secluded and isolated places can be ideal places for an attack. Again, this is why we talk about make sure you're meeting people in public places and not allowing someone into your residence. If you're uh, on a date with an acquaintance, or if you're on a date, make sure that you tell uh, someone that you know that will be responsible, that if you are late, they will call the authorities and check up on you to make sure you're safe. Make sure that both parties in a relationship establish clear limits from the beginning. And remember, anyone has the right to say no at any time. With intimate partner violence and stalking, be mindful of red flags, whether it's checking your cell phone or email without permission, constantly putting you down, extreme jealousy or insecurity, or isolating you from friends or family. Remember, these will typically escalate over time. So watch out for yourself as well as others. If you see someone in one of these positions, help them find help whether it's through our survivor advocate, Dean of Students, help them to get the help that they need. Collecting evidence. If you are reporting a sexual assault or intimate partner violence, consider items that may be used as physical evidence. With clothing, if you feel that you must, if you must change clothes, please do so over a bed sheet or comforter. 
Um, that way you hold the evidence, take photographs before and after, save text messages and or electronic communications. The Dean of Students is an excellent resource for our students. They can uh, help with temporary lodging, class adjustments, and no contact orders. This is Dr. McGinnis. In an emergency, please dial 911. In a non-emergency uh, or to report a crime that has already happened, seek guidance, you can call 940-565-3000. We have an anonymous tip line at 940-369-8477. You can go to our website, police.unt.edu, to fill out an online crime report, view daily crime log, and other safety programs offered. Or please come by our office. Our lobby is open 24-7, 365 at 1700 Wilshire, over by Mozart Hall. If you need anything, please feel free to reach out to me at any time, either by email or office, or come by the PD and see me. I'd love to meet you. Have a great day. Go Mean Green.